Hi guys, so here we are with another video on British 9058 pattern uh, web equipment. This will be covering the second issue of components. Um, it's a full set laid out. I'm not going to look at the components individually, but uh, we'll go over the set and I'll show you the uh, components that were changed. Um, and uh, as usual, I'll get rid of the uh, the pack and have a look at the uh, the rest of the web set first, and then look at the pack separately. So hope you can find this interesting. Stabilised video now, got the tripod going, so uh, yep, we'll have a look at the uh, the set and uh, see what uh, what differences um, in the design were introduced. Okay, so here we have the set as a whole. Um, the uh, first component we'll look at is at the top here, the yoke. We'll have a look at the yoke, I'll pan the camera up here. Um, the yoke changed two hands, haha. Um, the yoke changed in uh, one major De uh, detail was the addition of um, straps, uh, lengths of webbing on the strap because when you put when you attach the pack it hooks onto these loops here and the uh, strap from the pack just originally went just over the shoulder strap of the yoke, the padded piece here and hooked on and it could easily slide off that so this was introduced you pass the strap through it and it stops it from sliding off the strap when you're wearing the pack. So that's one uh, change to the first pattern uh, web equipment, the uh, well, first issue. The ammunition pouches were also changed. Um, they have, they no longer have the stiffened piece in the side of the lid. That's gone. They're still shallow. They've not got, uh, I think you can fit, I'm not sure if it's two or three magazines in these. Anyway, uh, they're still shallow. The, the third issue are deeper, but otherwise the lid's been, had the stiffener removed from the side. They st do still have, oh, this one's had it removed. I'll show on the other one. They do still have the strap inside, um, the uh, strap to lift the magazines. I think that's unfastened. The belt is unchanged. That remains standard throughout the production run of um, 1958 pattern. We'll just pan over to the other ammunition pouch and I will show you the, still have the um, strap inside. So inside here, you still have the, the pull strap which lifts the magazines when you open the lid. The kidney pouches likewise have lost uh, this lost the stiffener in the side of the lid there. The, there is a third issue of these. The second issue differ from the first only in missing, not having the stiffener in the side. They still do not have the extra tab to attach them to the upright strap on the vertical strap on the yoke. That is still missing. Um, so that's the, the second issue, kidney pouches. The poncho roll uh, is, move this down here so we can see the poncho roll. The poncho roll has the metal tips are now the British style uh, with a rivet, uh, a lot more durable than the little crimped on ones that were used on the first issue. If we, sorry, that's the, uh, I open up the wrong uh, quick release tab here. If we open up these here, you can see there are now three metal loops to adjust, which allows you to uh, close the uh, poncho roll with a, with a larger roll inside, so uh, a bit more room to carry various bits in there, including bits of MPC kit and so on, as it was used for. Uh, the bottle, uh, obviously on the, f the first issue, I didn't include a water bottle pouch. Uh, this was not introduced initially with the first issue of 1958 pattern. I believe it was 1962 the bottles were first introduced. The, uh, and they were first introduced in a green uh, plastic rather than black. The cups were made in black. I, this pouch, is, I presume it's got wet and shrunk. They were small and a tight fit anyway. They were not a good design really with the, the, the early type uh, with the turn. Fast the, the, this is actually the first issue bottle pouch, although the other components the second issue. This didn't come out with the first issue of 1958 pattern. The bottle is a very tight fit with the cup. You cannot really get the cup in on top there and close the flap, so I've left the cup off. The cup was a standard black version. Uh, that bottle is dated 1965. It's the earlier green version, as I say. Uh, so the bottle pouch uh, and bottle were introduced around 1962. Several of these components were introduced in the uh, early 60s. Um, Certainly by the mid-60s, the uh, fitting instructions show the yoke with this uh, addition. They show the, uh, by that, 1965, shows the third issue kidney pouches in use. 
uh, and the certainly the um, deep ammunition pouches came in, in the late 60s, I believe, the third issue. So these were early 60s, uh, as were the second issue. By the mid 60s, you've got the third issue of these. So various components, various components were modified and changed at various different dates. But this would be representative of a set uh, for the mid 1960s. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, so I'll move on to the pack now, and we'll uh, we'll have a look at that. So here we have the second issue. 1958 pattern pack and this was the, the standard version continuing on with production uh, there wasn't a third issue of this the changes that needed to be made were made the pouch uh, the side pouch lids have lost the stiffener in the side um, that the, the first issue had and the other big visual difference is that all the webbing straps now have the uh, two riveted British style or Mil M Miko mill style um, tips on the uh, made of aluminium similar to those used on 1944 pattern so there we go that's the basic differences in the pack otherwise it's the same as the first issue so it's only detailed differences but uh, again the 1965 fitting instructions show a pack with the riveted uh, metal tips on the ends of the, uh, the strap so certainly by the mid 60s these were being produced so there we are that's the uh, the pack so I hope you found that interesting. As I say, first time using the tripod, so hopefully that's made an improvement to the video quality. Um, it's possibly a little less, a little more static than it has been on previous videos, but a bit more stable as well. So hopefully that's an improvement. And I hope you found that uh, an interesting over overview of the second issue, 1958 pan. We'll have a look at the third issue bits and pieces in another video. And uh, until then, bye for now.